Hey guys, my name is Rupan Tarreja and you're watching RPN Tech Tips and Tricks. If you're an experienced user and you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and shift to the time in the callout on the screen. Um, otherwise, let's start. So this guide is only for rooted users for a similar device to OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 6 basically, which this guide is primarily focused on. Now this guide won't help you actually root the device. This is only for updating the device to the latest OTA if you have your device already rooted. So let's start. Now the process is not specific to OnePlus 6 only. It should work on any and all phones which have the same file partition system like uh, the OnePlus 6, which is basically the A and B partition. You can see similar file system in the Pixel 2 and this should work for that as well. So let's start. First you need three files, the Magix uh, zip, which you will be using for your root, the OnePlus 6 OTA, and the Twerp zip for your recovery. So I'm just gonna show you quickly where to get these three files. So you can head over to any online source for the latest Oxygen OS um, OTA. Now, in today's news, 5.1.8 just came out, and I've given you the link for uh, this update, and you should be able to download it from here. Now, you only have to keep one thing in mind. You have to have the full ROM. So, unless and until it says the full ROM, you should not download it, because you have a rooted phone, and you do need the full ROM. So, go ahead and click the download. I have already downloaded it, and if you're unclear as to if you received the full ROM or not, you can just view the properties and it should show a file above 1 GB or 1.3 GB in this case for the one, uh, OnePlus 6. It'll always be above that. So that was the first file. You can get the twerp installer uh, zip from the twerp website, official website. Um, the twerp build is called enchilada for one plus six but the link is in the description and it should be fairly easy to download that. The magisk can be obtained from the magix manager app which you should already have if you have a magix route. If you have a super user route then um, it's easy to download this app and then just click install. So when you click install you should have download zip only and you should have the latest uh, version. In my case, I am using the beta um, versions actually. So if you see in the settings, there's an update channel and you can either choose stable or beta. And I would suggest you keep it on stable. I'm just keeping it on beta for like the latest features. So it's your choice, but so if you have all these three files now, um, if you didn't choose the beta version, then you should have the 16.0 for Magisk. And if you did choose the beta, then you'll have the 16.4. Reboot your phone. And this reboot menu can be switched on from the settings in OnePlus. It's very convenient. There's no third party app involved in this case. And you have to click recovery as I did here. So you should boot into your two-up recovery. Depending on your lock screen password, you will either see a pattern or a pin or anything um, that you have set up. So after entering the password, you should have something like this going on. It'll just take a second there. So hold on. When you have this screen, then you should head over to your install. You should find the folder where you have those three files. And as you can see, all the files are there. So first and foremost, we'll go into the uh, the update OTA. So just sit back and relax while this goes on. Don't be scared. It'll like complete halfway through. Like step one will complete, and this bar will stop working for uh, two minutes. Don't assume that this is stuck. It's uh, working fine. Just let it do its work. It'll take five minutes. So you'll see this bar full and you'll assume that nothing is happening but 
there is something going on behind the scenes so just uh, wait for it as you can see it's continuing on to step 2 out of 2 and as you can see we are done we are going to press back not reboot system because we have some stuff to do uh, some more so keep on hitting back until oh actually I went too far um, just go into the folder again where you have the files and now it's time to uh, flash the twerp zip so that should just take about 10 seconds as you can read here it says running boot image patcher on slot A and slot B um, you, this just shows us that 1 plus 6 has two slots and if you want to understand the workings behind it you can go ahead and look up on the internet so now the most important step you have to go into reboot and then you have to see which slot you're in currently and not press that you have to press the slot opposite to whatever slot you're currently in so if I'm in A I press B if you're in B press A so I hope there's no confusion here I'm just gonna press B and it says changing boot slot complete okay so the notification just disappeared and your new 5.1.8 should now be set up so now as you might be able to see Magisk is not installed and we can fix that simply by installing Magisk through Twerp again. So let's just reboot to recovery as we did last time. So now let's move on to the third step which is the installing the Magisk. Now I'm going to install the 16.4 but you can install the 16.0 which is the stable version. As you can see, mine says 16.4, yours will say 16.0. And this should just take about, again, 10 seconds. So now when this finally is done, just to be sure, I just always like to um, clear the cache. Now it might say unable to find the partition for path cache, but um, doesn't really matter. Sometimes it's just better safe than sorry. So your device should now boot back up and if you have a custom boot animation you should see it and this is just proof that your root is still working. So that's it, like and share this video and please do subscribe to my channel. See you next time, bye.